Jason Ross, and uh, what I do is I work with kids in Sulphur Springs. And what we do is we save kids and community lives through the arts. And our program is a comprehensive program that also looks at all the, all the things that go into a child's life. So, for instance, in Sulphur Springs, we're the lowest income community in Tampa. We're the largest amount of kids and the fewest amount of services. And so what we do is we've developed a program in which they do volunteerism, they also, and, and community service, along with learning business skills and life skills so that they can succeed. Our goals are 100% of our students that go through our program, our teens, graduate from high school, with 85% of them going on to college. That's our goal, and we can do that. Right now, we're ahead of that. And one of the things is, is that we found through the arts gives people a voice to be able to learn how to critically make decisions about their lives, to change their lives, and to be able to plan a future for themselves and a positive future. Without that, it's the streets. And just to give you an idea of why this is so significant, is 85% of the adults in Sulphur Springs have never completed high school. We have close to a 90% dropout rate. And with these kinds of programs, we can get every kid in the, out to graduate from high school and the majority moving on to college. But we can only do that with the support that we receive from the city and the county and other people who give their hearts to us. If this amendment passes, what the average savings for someone who owns property will be probably about, uh, to our program, will be probably less than one penny, Pro uh, between one cent and five cents, depending upon your taxes. For one cent or five cents, we will, if we don't get that, if you vote for this amendment, that means that police will have to go up, crime will go up, and, and um, dropout rates will go up, and poverty will go up, and 